What are the major security threats that financial service providers face and how do new channels such as mobile and cloud play into that? So I think in, in general there are uh, trends in the market which I think everybody of us is pretty much aware of. Mobility is one of the key trends. Uh, mobility for financial services customer means as well new channels. So driving online banking, driving online transactions and therefore as well the, uh, the threat pattern has changed for financial services customers. So I think in the past financial services customer you really needed to look for security from a network perspective. But nowadays uh, they really look at uh, security from, a, from an application point of view. So for example when you use an online portal uh, you are interested to have uh, high performance, uh, having a secure connectivity and making sure that whatever you do is protected. But this has nothing to do with network security anymore. That's a pure application security protection or this fending off threats which are coming definitely from the application layer, not from the network layer perspective. So these are new trends which we are seeing and the more banks going into online banking transactions, they need to look at new ways of protecting themselves of new security threats. What are some of the new security threats that you're seeing? So I think uh, um, SQL injections, uh, uh, cross-site scripting, um, any kind of threats which relate to, you know, you, you, you go to a website and uh, you think that you are on the same website, but maybe you're not on the same set website anymore. So I think the most prominent uh, threat which we have seen, which has well gone through the press, is uh, denial of services, as uh, so DDoS attacks. And DDoS uh, attacks are uh, just uh, synthetic traffic which is created, and at the end of the day creates so much traffic and connection to a website that at the end of the day the website and the, sp the, and the servers behind cannot handle the traffic anymore with the result that uh, the service uh, may stall or stops for a certain, uh, certain time. I think that's probably the, the most prominent uh, threat which we are seeing right now. There are many different threats in the same area, but uh, for us that's a, that's a great opportunity because we are focusing on the denial of services attacks, uh, layer 7 or application related attacks which we can fend off where we have th uh, threat mitigation with and help our customers to protect themselves and their users. How do BYOD or bring your own applications and new protocols uh, pose new security threats to financial services providers? Yeah, so I think there are always some verticals in the market which are more uh, advanced than others and uh, I would say financial services customers are, are always conservative and I think that's the right way to do because we talk about a lot of sensitive data. Uh, so bring, uh, bring your own device and bring your own application uh, are trends which are which are coming to any verticals. Uh, we are basically as private users using our applications, using our devices, and going forward, uh, see as well the opportunity and the need to use uh, our own devices in our uh, professional environment. So, which create challenges uh, for for IT enterprise IT, uh, BFSI IT, and you find our products a strategic point of control in the data center. So, bring your own device and bring your own application is a key. Uh, request and requirement of our customers going forward. Uh, so uh, we are going to offer, we are having an offer in place which is mobile application management which allows our customers to integrate uh, their devices and going forward as well their applications. Uh, on top of this, uh, as you as you asked uh, and alluded to, we are seeing as well changes in the protocol layer. I think the, the standard protocol today is TCP and going forward, we see more and more uh, protocol development, application development, HTTP and HTTPS, which is a key capability which we can provide as well when it comes to security, mitigate, security threat mitigation, which happens actually on the application layer, which is layer 7. What is meant by a session-based uh, risk mitigation? Mm -hmm. So, so the, uh, I would say there are two different approaches to security. Uh, myself, I have a very strong network background. And um, traditional uh, network-based security, I would call it. I would call it. I would call this a bottom-up approach. That's a security aspect or perspective which looks from the network up to the application layer. Um, packet design means that these are products which are built to, for example, fast forward a packet in the network from one place to another place, and their main intention is to do this as, as fast as they can. But this has nothing to do with under, understanding the application and maybe as well the user. Uh, session means today if you use 
an application, if you use a smartphone, um, you may have up to 40 or 50 sessions being open, being connected to any kind of application with different security requirements. If you do an online transaction, you might have a higher security requirement than when you surf the web, for example. So the session design is a design where uh, you have a product which understands what a session for a user is. When you use certain sessions, it makes a huge difference then you're connected to a network and you're just only interested to fast forward a packet. So the design of these products are very different. Uh, when it comes to the session design, it's all about how many sessions a banking, cust banking uh, customer or a bank and online, uh, uh, an online platform can provide at the same time. That's about how many concurrent sessions can be managed, how many total number of sessions can be managed, how, what's the total throughput the same system can manage. This has nothing to do with the packet design. This is all about session design, which is about looking top down from the application layer into the network and creating security aspects for the session and not creating a, a network security architecture up from the, from the network. So a very different approach. And F5 has been developing our own solution from layer 7 down to layer 3, which is the network layer. So our approach is a top-down approach and looking at the applications and defining security elements per application. But still, how, how, does, how important is speed to your clients, especially in the financial services industry? And, and, and how do your solutions address that? Yeah, let, let, me, let me give you an example. If, if you or me, if we are starting an online transaction, uh, for us it's all about, it's important that we have persistence, that the session never interrupts. Second, that you know what's going on, that you see what's going on, that you know that what you do is secure, that nobody can look at the information. So performance and speed and uh, security and av availability of applications in the financial services industry are absolutely critical. And that's exactly what, what F5 is providing because we understand the application traffic, we understand the context of an application, we can relate the context of a packet which goes through a network to the session the user has created to the, to the back end of the data center and put this all together into policies, which allows you then as a, as a banking customer to enrich this traffic to specific users by making it more secure, making it more available or making it more fast. So therefore I think performance is very important when it comes to, to online transaction combined with the right uh, assets and security.